Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different but also kind of the same. I don't know how far we're going to get into this brand new series today but we're going to try to at least get some sort of a layout done. So I am going to be building a massive map or at least that's the goal and I want to try to use Roblox Real Terrain. Now by no means is this going to be a showcase or anything like that because I am horrible with real terrain, but I love how it looks if you do it right with low poly buildings. Like, it just looks great. Like, look at Jailbreak, um, my friend Funky's game, Saiyan Rampage. These games are ridiculously good looking, and there's just a lot that I'm missing out on if I don't learn Roblox terrain. Now, I do think I want to change this to a square, so I'm going to make this 1920 as well. And uh, that should be a square. There we go. Nice. And uh, this background, of course, I'm going to need to kind of stretch that a bit in a weird way. I just put a radial blur on, so it's uh, kind of resembles water, and I'll be building on top of it. We are going to be on an island, so I think that will be pretty cool. All right, that works. Now, we're going to make a new layer. This one will be the ground. And my goal is to actually draw something out like a lot more detailed than usual because I just, I want a good map. And if I don't draw it out first, it never really works out. It just looks like every other map on a Roblox. It's nothing great. So I wanna draw it out this time. Let's see, so island overall, I'm thinking takes up most of the map. Some sort of river, maybe a lake here like that and the river would be like here so pretty much straight through the center of the map and maybe have a bit coming through like here now we gotta erase this it's not gonna be perfect the drawing doesn't have to be perfect but it has to be understandable now this would all be filled in uh, I don't know if I'm gonna like yeah I might as well I'm gonna fill it all in so I do need to avoid straight cutoffs like this so I'm gonna kind of curve this out some and then bring it like that so it's not a straight cutoff i want to avoid making it look square and boxy at the end of the day so even this one should probably come out something like this makes a little more sense all right so there's the base like our ground and our water looks decent we are going to add our grass now so we're just going to make another layer turn this to a green and by no means is this the final color selection uh it's just kind of you know it is what it is we are going to want a beach like a bigger beach so i think that's going to be like in this area and then it'll cut off and all this will be a beach so we'll have grass up here and of course around the whole thing will be sand because it's fully encased in water but i want to have like a bigger spot for a beach so probably this area and it might end up being too big i don't know what the exact proportions are going to be or anything like that but i'm just kind of getting the rough idea drawn out i don't know i know it's gonna be a massive map that's all i can say and I definitely think I need to try to do my little picture tactic. I talked about it in a in a, vo a video, so how to stay motivated. Make a picture. So take a screenshot of something and only fill in that zone. A lot of us get demotivated when we have a huge build that we need to do. And we're just focusing on the whole project. Like, I'm going to need to focus on, like, a segment of an island, you know? Something very small, very manageable. Up next, where do I want to put cities? Of course, there's going to be bridges. So let's make this, like, a gray something like that all right so for bridges there's definitely going to be one here so i'm going to just kind of draw that out th th this will symbolize bridge it's going to be like one of the driving bridges of course but uh but drawing wise i'm not talented so we're going to build it like that and then where should we put the other bridge we could have one here and then just kind of finish the loop i guess like there could be a bridge here as well i think that actually works pretty well because now we have a full game you could play a full map you can uh, run around or drive around, whatever it's going to be. That'll work for the bridges. Now, our lobby, or I don't know what this game is going to be just yet. Uh, I want like some sort of open world RP type game because, hey, they're doing good. And uh, and I like, I like the, uh, you know, how do I say this? The bands. <laughs> the money. <laughs> and I also want to build something very impressive. Like, I want this to be my best build I've ever done. So, our spawn... I think we'll we'll tuck it back here because then you can kind of go out whatever way you want so our spawn will kind of be tucked back here something like this all right this will be our spawn i'm just gonna kind of scribble that in no then it won't match i'm gonna, I'm gonna color the whole thing all right so there's our spawn um what else do we need we're gonna need a city of some sort i didn't mean to do a group i wanted a new layer so we are gonna need a city we'll make that um what color we'll go like pink pink placeholder for city 
Pink will just resemble houses. So this area can have like a sub, a suburbs little place, a little subdivision. Over here, we can have beach houses. Um, We could have our main city on this island. I think that'd be cool. Like this whole island pretty much will be like a main city. And then what, what do we want? There's probably gonna be like points of interest over here. So we'll do one here, one here, one here. So like, like small, small places, not whole cities, but you know, like a gas station or you know, stuff like that. I do think I want some sort of mini island in here like that. Uh, and then maybe one here as well, just to break up all the water. That looks good to me. I'll probably do a huge mesh. Um, around the outside that's gonna resemble grass, but it won't quite be grass Let's uh, just copy this color and make it a, a bit darker So we know it's a little different and it's gonna just kind of wave around the way outsides like really really far away from your camera But it will make the game seem like it's bigger like it'll go on forever So we'll just do something like that. There we go. And what else do we want to do? We have our cities. I guess we need roads, but that's more of like a a plan after type thing once we start building the cities so we can't really draw the roads on that well i think that's i think that's good for the actual drawing so we have our spawn here let me actually go ahead and make a new layer and just write like a letter on top of each thing i'm gonna write those in white because i think that'll pop off every color that we used so here i'm just gonna put an s here i'm gonna put a b another b another b and i should oh that's horrible <laughs> a little better and these, I can't really fit a B on them, but that's okay. We'll put a W over here, and this is a bridge, and these are buildings, so I'll know what those are. <laughs> Guys, this, this is our layout, okay? This is our layout. Let's go ahead, uh, I'm gonna save this image, because we'll definitely be referring to it later on. Let's try to build the ground itself, alright? The terrain itself in studio for today and see where that leaves us. All right, guys. So to start this out, I think I'm going to do the exact same size as a base plate, which is absolutely massive. Okay, like ridiculously big. I've never built a map this big. Uh, let's just check how, how big it is. 2000 by 2000. That is massive. I don't know if that's necessary, but I do know that I want to try. Okay, I want to try. So first things first, plugins part to terrain. I am just going to make all of this grass and uh, I probably have to unlock the base plate. Part to terrain, it pops up with this little menu. You got settings over here. It did have ignore locked parts, which I uh, could have just turned that off, but click on the base plates. Probably have to get a little closer. There we go. Now I can close part to terrain. Oh, it didn't actually click on it. There we go. So now we have a base plate, a good spot to start. And uh, it's going to be a lot and a lot of painting. So I'm going to try to get the water in first, I think. That kind of makes sense. Or I should, no, I should probably carve out islands first. We'll see. We'll see. I'll check it with you guys. I have no idea what I'm doing yet. All right, guys. So I have all the islands placed down. It looks like this. The gaps between the islands are way, way, way too big. So I'm going to have to uh, add those. I don't exactly know everything about terrain, but I'm pretty sure I could just like pick up this section and move it in somehow. I'll figure that out later on in the build. But for now, I want to finish like the main idea here. So we're going to be painting. We're going to be painting sand. Very nice. Very nice. Ignore water, ignore parts. And we want this to be like pretty massive because we just need to paint like everything sand. Oh, look at that beautiful lag. It's great, guys. <laughs> when you know your build is probably way too big. All right, guys, so far so good. Now what I want to do is grab our smooth tool, strengthen one, size can still be pretty far down there because all I want to do is smooth these more into the water. So it's more of a like slope downwards, I guess. Something like this. We, we have this compared to like uh, this, you know, so it's definitely a lot better. It is going to take a little bit of time. And I'm not sure what the best way to do it is other than just kind of like this, like just running over it a bunch of times. Now it is adding this little like bump thing, which I don't exactly know why. So I don't know if I'm going to keep that. Let me, let me just like delete all this smooth stuff for a minute because I got to figure out the best way to do it. But for now, oh no, we still want the sand. There we go. We could add on the grass, I guess for now. Definitely should not use this big of a brush again. I'm just going to kind of go around. Now, I did have this set up as a beach, so I'm going to kind of go like that. And we can figure that out later, how we want to fade that off and make it look really nice. And the rest of this, of course, we're just going to have a little outline here. There we go. And then we just fill it in. 
Now, I think like a huge fantasy world would be awesome and would look like the best in my build style, but the playing of that, like who's gonna play it, I'm, I'm not sure. And at the end of the day, of course, we wanna try to get some players on whatever this game turns into being. In fact, if you guys have any ideas for what you would like this huge map to be for, let me know in the comments below. Most liked comment, I think, uh, I think we could turn that into the game idea. So make sure to like whatever comments you see down below that kind of fit what you want to see with this build. Last but not least, we have this island. Just going to kind of fill all this in so we have bitches, but also grass. Perfect. Now, let's remove Roblox's terrible lighting, okay? Like, they just they just put all that stuff. It already looks better, in my opinion, than it did with Roblox lighting. Now, of course, we definitely have some color stuff to do and everything like that, as well as this water does not need to be this deep. Like, this is too deep, so... Let's fix that up. I think there's, yes, yeah, sea level, and then I can evaporate it, which will remove everything I have. And I'm just gonna bring up the bottom cursor here, up to like here, the water, we don't need it that deep. We just need it to resemble water. So I think this will be a good size for it. So let's go ahead and create that. And it's gonna fill in all this with water and it won't be as deep as it was. Now we'll go ahead and close out of those plugins and kind of sit right here where we can see everything. Click on terrain and start working on the colors. I want the water to be a bit more vibrant, at least for now, until we figure out what we're gonna change the game into. Water reflectance doesn't need to be all the way up. And water transparency, I want that to be a bit more. Something like that. Now we can expand this and really get into our colors. All right, so where is this sand at? We got it right here. And I'm just gonna pick a screen color. And on my other screen, I have like a palette of like all sorts of browns. And I'm just kind of seeing what I think looks the best. Probably something like this for now. It's a bit dull, but I think it works at least until we find the theme of the game. Now for grass, we have a ton of different stuff we can pick. Something like this. I like this as well. We'll go like this for now. It's a lot darker than I usually think, but everyone also says my stuff is too saturated most of the time. So I think this will be okay. But guys, this is the first layout, okay? Here's the layout of the map. If you're excited for this series, let me know in the comments below. And once again, most liked comment will be the game we turn this into. So you guys will be leading pretty much the whole build, whether this is gonna be some sort of massive city or a sci-fi build or Please don't pick sci-fi. Yeah, that would be tragic, actually. It would just lag. Oh, don't pick sci-fi. I need to cut that. <laughs> or fantasy, anything like that, guys. You guys will be leading the build. So let me know what you guys want to see on here. And if you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.